did Pori uh, Poriel come about? I used to come here and uh, stay for a couple of years when the office requires with my husband. And I didn't have much to do here, so I used to feel a little bored. And my son said, why can't we start some vegetarian, South Indian, simple homemade food and start a restaurant, very small restaurant. And what you cook at home, you just cook. You don't have to do anything special. And also he said that we don't, in our custom, what we use vegetables, we don't get it outside, like banana flower, mm. like kadela, like neem, neem flower for rasam, where the snake gar, all those vegetables and uh, drumstick leaves we put, we cook with drumstick leaves and we cook with um, jackfruit seeds, we put it in sambar. So he said all these things are not at all available outside. This will be a good exposure for other people to know that this, when you say South Indian people know only sambar and idli, they don't know the other things that is inside the South Indian. He said, why don't we start? I didn't think because um, I trust my children and daughter-in-law so much that whenever they ask me something, they will keep in mind all the things that's not liked by me or that's not easy for me. So immediately I said yes. And then he took over and he started doing other things. And then that's how it started. Love for food and cooking. Who is your inspiration? My mother. My mother, even when she's uh, dead, she's, she must be about 120 years now. Even those days, she used to be innovative. She used to make chole puri and although we are purely South Indian, she used to make and she, she was full of love. And she will cook for her children, her grandchildren, even if she's tired. Like she will go for two minutes to lie down, but grandchildren come and ask me to make it. Immediately she'll get up and cook. And she was a very good cook. So I am completely inspired by her. Where and when did it start your love for cooking? It was not a love for cooking. It was uh, like when I was in 10th standard or 11th standard, uh, my mother, after my sister got married, my mother said evening cooking is yours. And my mother is uh, in such a way that she won't help you. She'll say you are cooking, you are cooking, that's all. Even your guest comes, that's your headache. You learn, you cook whatever it is. So, there was, she didn't stand there to teach me, maybe. And also my, my family accepted, however you cooked initially, whether it was not salt, whether it was spicy, they said it's okay. They never got upset. That was a great thing that uh, I got the support. They said, yes, you will learn it by time. I started learning and then I started cooking. After marriage, uh, of course, uh, we were not like what we are now. We were in a middle class. Then he said, you have to take care of the house with the children because that's my, and I definitely, see in those days, we were brought up in such a way, please blind obedience to our husband. And we know that we didn't have any other choice. And then I am a person who would like to make things positive and be happy for everything. Because for me, being happy is a very, very, very important thing. Then I came, got married, my mother-in-law, my sister-in-law, everybody used to cook, my sister-in-law, mother-in-law, they're all good cooks. So I learned from them, I started cooking, people enjoyed it. So it was not any love, but I did like cooking, so I didn't grumble. And it was my, like you go to office, I used to do that. But uh, on doing that, when children grew up and they wanted varieties, and then I started doing varieties also. And then when they become little older, they wanted diet. Like my elder daughter-in-law will always say, I don't want to eat scar, can you do something? So I used to do something innovative with the same uh, cooking and they stay in that. Even today my younger son says that um, you cook in the evening and send me some rasam and kuta, I don't want to eat rice. So when you cook for dieting, I put milder but they enhance the flavor of it. Mm. So you don't have to eat any rice or any carbs, you can just eat one kuta, drink one rasam or sambar, two padia, whatever it is to vegetables. So that is good. That's how I have been keeping my health. Take, like eating only this type of food. And if I want to diet, I will not eat rice, I'll eat only this and So slowly I started getting interest. Interest in the sense I like cooking, I like to make varieties. Not only South Indian, I used to make North Indian, I used to make pizzas, they love my pizzas, best pizzas. I make the gravy for pizza, not the ketchup. 
so i put so much vegetable no children like it because they don't like vegetable <laughs> so grandchildren i so i innovated lots of small small things like this and it is somehow i think it's in me it's not special love that i have to learn i like cooking i don't feel it as a burden tell us about your family i have five brothers and one sister um we were all born and brought up in bombay and after marriage you know how it is everybody spread out and uh, i i was in 81 i came to bangalore till then i was uh, traveling i was in uh, agra delhi walsan nagar and then i came to finally bangalore was our final destination how about your children one is in singapore other how one is in london I have two boys. Your husband is in Bangalore, or he also is. Yes, but both of them, when we are in one station, will be together. Yes. He is uh, one of the co-founder of Infosys. I can't depend on him because he's too busy with the office. In Bangalore, I do so many things. For example, I'm a. When my children went away from me, I didn't want to feel lonely, feel alone. Then I started doing uh, learning about the gardening. Now, then I started doing landscaping for my house. for my office a bangalore office my children's house and farmers everything i do landscaping i do all gardening so i started reading about i did i just sat computer and read about all those things learn what tree how it is and do i did that after that is little bit done then i said i should learn about my is hinduism some, some amount not that i'm especially i want to do something i said i should know something at least about it then i learned about i did everything in computer i learned everything in computer i didn't go to any teacher any class then i learned about uh, 100 and divya desam which are very important for a young person i used to go go to google map everything take everything and i'll set up six temples i'll take out to take the map i'll take my driver and drive down and go i have to go somewhere i'm bored at home i can't sit idle so i'm bored at home doing the same thing Want a break? Then I'll just start. I'll tell my drivers I'm going. Come on, let us. I'll just sit with them. I'll give them the map. I'll give them the hotels. I'll give them everything. Ask the office to book the hotels for me, and then I'll just quit. Go, leave the house, and go. My husband will be able to. I have lots of helpers, so they will be there. My husband is not into it. I I, I feel we have to give space. If any relationship, whatever be there, so I didn't force him. I know he. I it is not his cup of tea. Mm-hmm. I don't want him to come. and i don't feel comfortable when somebody doesn't like and they are sitting with me i don't like people who are enjoying should come so i said if nobody is enjoying i'll take my driver i have one other person only who is a man friday will do everything for me i want to do do what i like not what these people want so i said i have to my father and my parents are very open minded my father very clearly told me that either you can grumble about all these things cry and live your life or make a circle and say this is my life it is his life i'll be there for everybody but i'll take care of myself also so that's a way i was brought up so i don't mind leaving him and traveling and going anywhere and also we we as a family travel a lot we have traveled a lot every year as a family we'll take a destination we'll go there maybe it's a scotland maybe it's a new zealand somewhere we'll stay sometimes when we travel as a family 10 of us we don't go out watching something we just sit, talk play cards just be with us that we are very keen on doing so, which has been your favorite scotland. destination scotland yeah it's beautiful mm-hmm. new zealand new zealand. scotland in india which is your favorite destination see india basically is temples city lots of temples everywhere in any part of india you go there are lots of temples there are some of the temples in the villages which are very really, very really really good beautiful. and their architecture you don't have to see the god it need not be the god who doesn't believe in god also can go there and see the architecture and marvel it it was so long so many years before without so many gadgets how did they do it yeah so many things like sri rangam temple which is one of the oldest one how it is how the pillars are constructed how, how tall ceilings are So the, those are all the things I like to see more than. Do you think it's safe for a woman to travel in India? Absolutely safe. It's absolutely safe. It is again depending on you, no? Mm-hmm. How you are, what you want to do. See, it is your mental strength also. That at night I want to go at night at ten thirty, twelve o'clock alone and do something is not. As long as you are safe, 
it's fine it's not all that bad unfortunately we picture everything bad tell me how many times media pictures anything good about it. just open media is it sad it is always sad it's always complaint is it that bad does not that happen in any other country what is happening in now in america okay. tell me they just shoot yeah there is, there is everywhere what happens in the arabian countries arab countries there is everywhere it is crime is there everywhere but you have to see what are type of crimes and how to go about it so yes. and whom to trust best thing is when you go in in india i don't ask anybody for anything i completely sit in the computer i take all the details everything i take up write down get the even maps for my uh, driver and go that's all what's your daily routine like i i don't say that this is my daily routine I have to do that that's not my way of living i get up whatever i feel like doing i do like when i was uh, last year when i was in singapore for two years i said uh, why can't i learn some crochet and make a big big bedsheets for my grandchildren because they watch tv in uh, home theaters and it's very cold then i went into the net and started and did four five bedsheets big big ones with children they chose the colors my grandchildren i did that so i do knitting i do cross stitch i do today i now i am doing diamond paintings i don't go to class i just see the computer and learn and order buy it and sit at home and do it so it is not that today i have to do this today i get up and whatever my mood is whatever i feel like doing i don't feel guilty in just doing relaxing one day not doing but one thing is every day when i get up i'll at least make 4000 step at home itself i don't wait for going out i don't wait i'll see that i'll have my tea minimum 4000 step four days at least in a week i'll do that i do meditation a lot for me the best thing is when i'm disturbed best thing is to just close your eyes and sit and then i can introspect and see why i am disturbed what is it that disturbing is it what being disturbed by that is there anything that i can do and if i can't do it is best to accept and just push it off and come i feel so i do lots of meditation what would you say are your values love for people is very important one and then trust the trust like you said no you are traveling i'm trusting only my driver and this person trust because when you love so much somebody whether for me my helpers are not my helpers i just treat them as my children i give their children education we decide all my children including my whole family makes a point to give education for the drivers and helpers children and medical care we have medical care for them and love them how can they do anything wrong to you mm. and trust if i tell them please take care of this gold i'm going out and coming they'll be scared because they know that oh you are trusting me how can i do something wrong to you then it becomes a very easy for you to share your beliefs with us i believe that whatever is happening in your life is for good may not be good today maybe it is teaching you a lesson maybe it is telling you something so it's for good yes we will feel upset we will feel sad we will be disappointed everything will be there but the thought that it's a karma i believe in karma this is what i am destined this is what is going to happen it's okay please give me strength for this mm. whatever is happening i just even every day when i just go stand near the god i won't ask him to give me that and whatever difficulties you are giving me give me strength i know maybe it's for good i don't know but that way it gives you me peace of mind and hobbies i learn knitting crochet painting diamond painting it's again up to mood suddenly i'll see something i i surf a lot i listen to lots of upanyasas like you said that talks no in, in tamil they do upanyasas mm. about ramayana mahabharata so many things and they all teach you some value system it is not ramayana or mahabharata for me ramayana or mahabharata is a story that tells you that you as a person have all the characters that are in ramayana and mahabharata what is the character that you want to be when you see ramayana and mahabharata you know these are the characters with these characters these are the consequences correct 
so you have option to choose that and be that that's why i'll listen to them because it's not for story i want to be like this person mm -hmm. when i'm going to be a like this person whether like a rama or a duryodhana or a drudrishta or krishna who are it is they come in rama when i am going to be this personality what are the consequences i am ready to take the consequences with me that that's how i think about so i learn all this three i listen to all of them i love music classical music indian classical music mm -hmm. south indian especially movie music also i like so i watch all these things and also i like to watch all this serial uh, so suddenly my children will say why don't you watch sultan abbey all those things then i watch all those things so i don't have any restriction that this is the only thing that's the only thing when somebody says something is good i don't mind watching it and if i like it i'll watch it i like what watching the cooking show in uh, competition with the small children how they make it in years they have so all those mm -hmm. things i watch there is no i feel variety is my life i love traveling not at this stage now i don't like to yeah. because i'm 71 now and i'm finding it with so many restrictions otherwise uh -huh. i will travel i don't wait for anybody i'll take it i'll travel definitely you wearing a very beautiful sari tell me about the sari this the is sari. the mysore silk sari so i wear only sarees i love sarees so i like i wear sarees depending on the temperature outside okay like if it is uh, singapore i like to wear maximum cotton only pure cotton only but i like silk sarees and uh, my so silks fall very nicely and it's very comfortable our uh, so our pure kanjeevaram silks if it is pure it's beautiful because as you wash and wash it becomes very soft but if it is not pure then it is not very good mm -hmm. i don't mind wearing uh, any any kind of any kind of sarees as long as i feel comfortable for and even when i am outside when there is a big party or dinner i wear only sarees you wore a nine yards before no, lots of time when i i have any anyway, incidentally we have uh, we have a temple in shrinagapatna narsimha temple which we constructed with the help of of course other family who are more uh, i mean more into spiritual and religious things which we are not that much so whenever i go to the temple i wear only nine yards sir i can wear nine yard i can be there with nine yard from morning till night what's your message to the other women first they have to love themselves second thing they have to believe in themselves the third is they have to respect themselves the moment they do all these three they will automatically love everybody around respect everybody around then they'll be nice to everybody around and i think don't look at anybody as a negative person bad person everybody is ravana and rama everybody even i even anybody so just think that i am also ravana rama people have accepted me so let me also accept the other person who is also ravana rama so accept everybody try to live peacefully happily we have only one life don't make a mess out of it that's a very important thing for me it's very important when I, my children got married i said only one thing to me the utmost for me my children's happiness is the first thing in my life when you think on that line then you will know what is that you have to do the first thing i have to do is to accept my daughter in law as they are if my child children they are young the daughter in law is younger than them just make them that they are your love make them that you are real mother not a mother in law then you think you are looking at them in a different way you don't find fault with them like you don't find fault with your own children you just forget it you don't make it a big issue maybe you have to correct anybody whether it's your children or your grandchildren when they make mistake you have to tell nicely without any ego that's a worst thing i think that's very important that uh, make everybody live happily around you give them peace happiness and you be happy that's message to the women that no age limit to trying something new what like, is I age when you say age is only your body soul is never age soul never ages only your body ages so why there is any yes of course as you grow old there are some things because your body is slow you have to accept that and do whatever is 
easy for you. You don't have to be achiever. You don't have to do something to get peaceful for you. Somebody can, my sister will just watch TV and eat and cook and be happy by herself. But she's happy. So make yourself happy. That's why I said you love yourself. Then you will know who are comments. Anything on you will not affect you. Because you know this is what I love. This is what I want to do. It's okay for me to be like this. As long as you don't disturb others. As long as you don't make others happy. Thank you so much.